This video explains how to build sophisticated email campaigns using Ultradocs. To get started, let's create a new Ultradoc right from the Google Drive Create menu. When creating a new Ultradoc, a wizard will pop up and guide you through the first steps. First of all, let's give our new document a reasonable name. In the next step, we can select one of the predefined use cases. Let's pick the first one as we are going to send out a mail campaign to Gmail contacts. We can then pick a Gmail contact for testing and personalizing our mail. Ultradocs can create an address header or a personalized greeting line as a starting point. We do not need an address header, so let's just keep the greeting line. With Ultradocs you can create rich mails based on a Google document or based on HTML source code. When picking HTML as input format, you can either import existing mailings like MailChimp templates or you can create a new template from scratch. Let's do that and let's tell Ultradocs that we want to send out the generated document by email. In the next step, we can specify sender, recipients and subject of our email. Please note that you can use Ultradocs variables in almost every text field. By using the variable in the to field, we can send out the email to various recipients. Ultradocs has created the required building blocks in the background, so that we are ready to go. The first building block will load the contact, so that we can access all contact fields in our mail. On the right hand side of the building block, you will find all available variables that you can use to access the data of the contact. The next building block will generate a personalized HTML output from our template, and finally, the last building block will send out the generated email. Clicking on the Edit icon will open the HTML template editor in a new browser tab. The HTML editor provides a preview of the mail on the right hand side. You will find all the features that you know and love from Google Docs, like real time collaboration, revision history, and more. When editing the source code, the preview on the right hand side will update in real time. When editing HTML, you can use the same variables and renderers as in Google Docs or LibreOffice templates. We can for example use the photo renderer to insert the contact photo into the email. Check out the Ultradocs help center for all available rendering options. To get a preview of the email, switch back to the Ultradocs tab and click on the preview icon in the HTML building block. This will open the generated HTML in a new browser tab. As we can see, the name and photo of the contact has been merged into the mail. To send out a test mail, to verify that the mail looks good on all devices, click on the preview icon in the mail building block. This will send out a mail to your own account. The email should arrive shortly. Here we go. Before sending out the mail, Ultradocs is doing some pre-processing so that all images and styles show up in Gmail without prompting the user. When sending out a newsletter, make sure to include your sender address and a link for your users to unsubscribe from the newsletter. Instead of hard coding the link target into my email, I am using a variable. This will allow me to track the users clicking on that link. To do so, I'm adding a new building block called Smart Link. Using a Smart Link will allow me to track the users clicking on that link with Google Analytics. First of all, we have to specify the variable name that we've used in our template and enter the target URL, in our case where the users can unsubscribe from the newsletter. As variables can be used in almost every text field, we can quite easily pass the user's email as a URL parameter. On top of that, you can also enter an action URL to be called whenever the user clicks on that link. This will allow you to trigger additional logic or even a different email campaign whenever the user clicks on that link. As Ultradocs is executing all building blocks from top to bottom, we have to move the smart link up so that we can access it in our email template. 
As indicated by the red link icon, Ultradox has successfully connected the unsubscribe link variable with our email template. To get a new preview of the email, simply refresh the page holding the preview. As we can see, the unsubscribe link is now included in our email. When clicking on that link, you will see the user's email address in the URL, so that we know who wants to unsubscribe. Let me show you how you can track the users using Google Analytics. Copy the ID of the web property where you want to track the users into the smart link. To do so, click on the edit icon in the smart link building block and select event in the Google Analytics tracking section. A unique client ID will help you to track users across different sessions. In our case, we will use the email of the user as client ID. The event category action label and value will show up in Google Analytics whenever the user clicks on the link. And again, you can use Ultradox variables to personalize the messages showing up in Google Analytics. To check if this works as expected, I will send out the campaign to myself instead of the different recipients. By hard coding my personal email address into the TÜV field, all the different emails will get generated but will be sent out to myself. To generate and send out emails for different Gmail contacts, click on the batch icon or select Run Batch from the Run menu. I can now select the recipients from my Gmail contacts. You will find your contact groups on the left. Click on Run Batch to run your Ultradoc for each of the selected contacts. Ultradocs will now run all building blocks from top to bottom for each of the selected contacts. The dialog will give you a detailed feedback of all performed actions when running the batch. As I've hard-coded my own email address into the TÜV field, I should find all the emails after a while in my inbox. The first email has already arrived and contains the contact name and photo of one of the selected contacts. After a while, all emails have been generated and show up in my inbox. Let's now click on the unsubscribe link and see what happens. As expected, the user gets redirected to the page where he can configure his subscriptions. At the same time, this event will get tracked in Google Analytics. You can watch all user interactions in real time in Google Analytics. You will not only see country and language of the user, but also the detailed information that we've specified in our smart link. Using Google Analytics to track your mail campaigns will give you a single tool to monitor all your different marketing channels. Let's recap what we did. We've created a simple email campaign, sending out mails to our Gmail contacts and included a personalized smart link into each email. Let's check out another great feature of Ultradox. We can add a timer to schedule our email campaigns. You can, for example, send out a follow-up email after several days. Creating a timer is simple, just give it a reasonable name and specify the date or the delay when the timer will fire off. For our demo, let's just wait for 5 minutes, but in real life you could, for example, wait one week before sending out a reminder email. The timer will stop the execution of your Ultradoc and continue after the specified delay or at the specified date. Let's create another simple email to be sent out after the specified delay. In this case, I want to create an email from a Google document. Feel free to use all the formatting capabilities of Google Docs. Ultradocs will then convert your document into a nice looking email. The Ultradocs template editor will give you access to all Ultradox variables right from the Google Docs editor. Insert a variable at the cursor position by simply clicking on it in the sidebar. Click on the preview icon in the sidebar to generate and open a preview of your email in a new browser tab. We can simply reuse our smart link variable to insert the unsubscribe link into our Google document and track the user interactions with Google Analytics. When clicking on the refresh icon, Ultradocs will scan your document once again and track down all the variables that you've used. 
click on the email icon in the action toolbar of your template to add an action that will send out the document as an email. Again, I will simply hard code my email address as a recipient to be able to test my campaign. Our demo campaign will now send out a reminder email five minutes after sending out the initial email. Let's run another batch to see if this works as expected. Let me pick a few contacts from my Gmail contacts and run the batch. When running the batch, Ultradox will now send out the initial email immediately and set a timer for each recipient to send out the reminder email. Let's switch back to Gmail to see if the first emails have already arrived. Yeah. Click on Edit Timers in the File menu to see which timers wait for execution. This dialog will allow you to remove timers or execute them manually if you want to test them. Let's keep them untouched. After waiting 5 minutes, I will find all the reminder emails from our campaign in my Gmail inbox. So let's recap what we did so far. Ultradocs will execute all building blocks from top to bottom. It will load the contact from the Gmail address book, create a personalized unsubscribe link, generate HTML from our template and send it as an email. Then it will set up the timer, wait for 5 minutes and generate the reminder email. On Google Drive you will find all the files involved and you can work on them with your coworkers in real time. This is also great because you can share all the different bits and pieces and reuse them in different campaigns. There's just one last thing that I would like to show you in order to complete our example. In our example, we will send the reminder email after 5 minutes, no matter if the user has unsubscribed from the newsletter in the meantime. So I'd like to query the subscription state of the current user before sending out the reminder email. To do so, I can add a webhook that will call our own servers and provide the result as Ultradox variables. Just enter a name for the webhook and the URLs to be called to fetch the data. Again, we can use Ultradox variables to construct a dynamic URL. In my example, I will pass the email of the current user as a URL parameter. When implementing the server logic, you can also provide a description of the required input and provided output parameters. I'll just skip that part and leave the URLs to fetch the parameter definitions empty. We want to call this webhook right after the timer, but before sending out the HTML email. So let's move the building block up. Now that we know if the user is still subscribed to the newsletter, we can add another building block to stop the execution based on a condition. We will now use the variable that we've just received from our server as a condition in the webhook. If the condition is true, the execution will be stopped. As we can use Ultradox expressions in all text fields, we can use a simple if statement to return true if the user is not subscribed to the newsletter anymore. As we want to stop the execution before sending out the reminder email, we will have to move the stop building block right after the webhook and before generating the email. Now our example campaign is complete. It will send out the follow-up email only if the user is still subscribed to our newsletter. That's it for now, but there's much more to explore. Thanks for watching.